The AIDS virus has no cure. Scientists around the world continue with their attempts to figure out a cure for the 30-year-old virus which has claimed so many lives. Drugs to alleviate it have been hard to come by until antiretroviral drugs, which in Uganda were received in the late 90s. We've looked at the area of what kind of antiretroviral drugs we should be using in our population. What should we be using in children who have been exposed, been giving mothers for a long time a single drug called nevirapine? And there are indications that already there is development uh, of resistance in these children. Resistance is not only rising in children but in adults as well, according to research carried out since 2008 by JCRC and Netherlands Pharma Axis in Fort Porto, Mbali and Kampala, where one in eight are HIV drug resistant. Of the six countries in Africa surveyed, that is Zambia, Zimbabwe, Kenya, South Africa, Nigeria and Uganda, the burden of resistance is highest here in Uganda. Time for the virus to mutate or change and rebel against treatment in the process reproducing at a faster rate in the presence of ARVs, patients have been blamed. If the patient does not take the drugs. But when drugs are out of stock, there is someone sleeping on the job and breaking the patient's routine cycle. Drugs must always be in stock. Caregivers have also been apportioned blame. You give uh, a few drugs and uh, issue, you, you, your combination of drugs is not the proper one. Yes, drug resistance is inevitable, but according to the researchers, it can be slowed down. Adherence, adherence, adherence. Take your drugs, take your drugs. We have come up with HIV, drug resistance monitoring and prevention protocol. Once you are resistant to the first-line treatment to stay healthy, you will need to start using the second-line drugs, which have a number of downsides. On the average, you can say that second-line drugs are five times more expensive than first-line drugs. And so programmatically, it would be very difficult for us to put many more people on treatment. And as a ministry, we want to put many more people on treatment. We have already planned to put 100,000 more on treatment. And so the more we delay people on first line, the better for us. In Uganda, such second line drugs are available, but the person who suffers most is a person with transmitted drug resistance, infected by a person who has drug resistant HIV. Patients do not respond to some of the first and second line treatment. Research done by the Uganda Virus Research Institute, UVRI, under the Medical Research Council, MRC in Kampala, found 8% of patients having HIV transmitted drug resistance. But there could be a glimmer of hope for such patients who may resort again to other first-line drugs which the virus has not yet resisted. But death for such a patient may come earlier than anticipated. The easiest way to determine if HIV treatment is working is to take a viral load test. Viral load testing is expensive. Uh, the viral load is the number of viruses that you find per milliliter of, of blood. Um, and the whole goal of, uh, of antiretroviral treatment is to get the viral load below detection levels. Unfortunately, it's not possible to completely eradicate the virus. When HIV drug resistance continues and culminates into transmitted resistance, then of course there will be an urgent need to find new anti-HIV drugs. Remember, we do not yet have a cure for AIDS. Emphasis has been put on getting tested and adhering to treatment as the best options to put an end to the stubborn virus, which may once again be known as a death sentence. Florence Nalimba, NTV.